All right, hey Virgo. So I'm doing a singles read for you guys, and this is either going to be a confirmation read or um, it's going to be who's coming towards you. So this is a 30-day intention read, and the intention is new love. All right, so if it starts to sound like somebody from your past that you don't want nothing to do with, please just check your moon rising and Venus placements opposed to commenting something negative. Easy peasy, right? Um, so let's just see. You're going to know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about love. What have we got? We got two. I don't read reversals, you guys, unless I feel completely drawn to do so. Um, so you're in the energy right now of um, you're very much single. All right. You're very much single, but I do feel with the Knight of Coins, the Knight of, of Pentacles, that you yourself um, have been a wounded warrior before in your past. All right. So the Knight of Pentacles says that you're not trying to rush into anything with anybody. In fact, it's probably led you down some darker roads that you don't care about um, to kind of reopen. So the Knight of Pentacles for you is probably where you feel works best. All right. The Knight of Pentacles, wounded warrior. Um, so it's slow and steady, right? You don't want to rush into anything, but you're not going to, um, I don't feel like you're closing yourself off from it by no means. You are very much single, but it's because I feel that you only, you're only going to accept an energy that is your match. So no taking advantage of you, no leading you on. Um, you know, you want people to see your worth. Um, and that's fine. The 10 of cups is just having that wish fulfillment. So you actually do, um, whatever pains and, and hurts you've been through in the past, um, you're still open to the idea of love, family, home, life, stability. Um, that's all you crave. It's like that emotional, um, that emotional feeling. All right. So how do you feel about love? How does Virgo feel about love? Strength card. So I kind of feel like you are, here's what I'm going to say. Here's that seven of swords. You are afraid of getting hurt. You're afraid of getting hurt. Um, you know, the seven of swords is, uh, tr you have a hard time trusting people, right? So, um, it's like you want all of this, um, right here. So just remember how you feel about love, because when it comes back to the advice, it's going to probably link to this, um, section right here. All right. But the seven of swords just tells me, um, you're tired of people effing you over. All right. You don't trust a lot of people and it's hard for you to open up, but you are holding out hope. All right. That you can uh, open that self up. You can trust, you can love, you can learn. All right. Because you do ultimately want um, your soulmate to come in the two of cups. Um, and that's the reason why you're kind of taking it slow. Um, I, I can't tell right now if you guys are on dating sites or not. Um, if you have been, uh, I almost feel like you could have deleted just because of the flakes that you might have met. Um, and it's probably diminished your hope a little bit. Uh, so if you guys were on dating sites, it's like you kept meeting the same um, flaky biscuits. All right. Um, so you're like, maybe that's not the best route to go. Okay. So the two of cups in order to find your soulmate. Yeah. It kind of seems like a far off, you know, oh, you're at the store and you meet somebody, you bump into them, blah, blah, blah. But I almost feel like you're just kind of leaving it up to, to, to fate at this point. Um, if you were online, I almost feel like you guys have cut online dating off just because of the, the, um, crappy, um, str strings of relationships you might've been finding or situationships. So who is coming towards Virgo? Who's coming towards you, Virgo? We have the Empress. Wow. I ain't even lying, man. Um, Taurus got the same exact cards, just in different positions. All right. So who is coming towards you? You got a, your match. So you're calling in your soulmate. Look at that. The Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the Empress all coming through. So this is going to be a true blue soul connection that's coming towards you. Again, you will meet this person in 30 days if this is not a confirmation read. So you guys need to stay positive um, and just know that this person's going, they're coming in, that this is home. All right. Whether you are male or female, it, it doesn't matter. But this person is, is home. This is like going to be it. This is going to be your last relationship. You guys, I know it. All right. It is a confirmation that this is brand new love too, um, with that ace of cups. So this is somebody that you've never dealt with in the past. What are they like? The eight of swords in reverse tells me that this person doesn't have a lot of shit that they're holding on to. Um, the eight of swords in reverse tells me that, 
um, this person sees the bigger, better, brighter um, future and picture. All right, this tells me right here, this person's not t tied to anybody. There's nobody holding up their energy. There's nobody holding on to their energy. They're not holding on to anybody's energy. All right, the Eight of Swords in reverse is going to tell me that this person does not, they're not, they're not, um, it's like a... I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to explain, but this person's not, they're not going to be like everybody else where everybody else might just seem to think or speak or, or um, see things in one light. This person's going to be the opposite of that. All right. This person's not tied to any one belief. I feel like they're very open-minded. Uh, all right. Um, I feel with the Ten of Pentacles, this person could have um, stabilized their own life. All right. Uh, have their own house, have their own car. This person has money. Um, I just feel like they're going to be your energetic match, Virgo. This is the victory right here. The six of wands. This is going to be your win. And this person's coming in. Um, and it's not that you need saving or anything, but it's like they're going to swoop you up. All right. They're going to take that. They're going to take you out of that nine of pen, that knight of pentacles um, um, energy and just really move forward with you. You got, you could be seeing 10, 10 a lot. All right. And that's soulmate numbers. Um, when it comes to love, it's, it's a re really positive number. So make sure you guys are keeping your thoughts positive too. Um, especially when you see those, uh, synchronistic numbers, their intentions towards you, you guys could be seeing two, two, two a lot. Look at that. So their intentions towards you. Um, so the two of swords tells me that this person's coming in to remove your own veil. So if you kind of think that maybe like soulmate love and soulmate energy is, is fake. Um, I feel like this person's coming to lift that veil off. Cause I don't feel like you've ever experienced the type of love that this person's coming in to give you. All right. And the two of swords tells me that this person's coming in to, to remove that veil. Um, the two of wands, this is going to be somebody that you actually end your life with. I can see, you know, um, I, I've, the way I see this card is you guys building an empire um starting now you get to the end of your life and you guys are being able to chill all right and you can just look back and and see all the the positive positive things that you've created like kind of leaving um you know a legacy no matter how big or small behind to your loved ones all right their intentions are coming through as queen of swords so this person's been through a lot you've been through a lot um and it's honesty it's loyalty it's love it's communication um being there uh, for for each other mentally spiritually physically and emotionally all right that's what their intentions are you're not going to see no no more pains it's it, it you don't have to you don't have to with this person anymore so the short-term potential the short-term potential next one to three months but this is a 30-day read just so you guys know 30 days from today you will meet this person again if this is not a confirmation so the short-term potential for me is one to three months. And this is just what we're going to be seeing in the next one to three months. Look at that. So we have the king and the we have the emperor and the empress. Now we're coming through with the king and queen of swords. All right. So um, the next, the short term potential right here. Look at that. You you guys are definitely being guided together um, by fate. Okay. Um, four of cups energy. I'm sorry, five of cups energy. Um, so here's what I'm going to say. You, it, it's time to really just come out of the, uh, the, maybe the idea that love is not for you. Okay. Um, don't, you guys need to stop thinking about the past because the past could uh, basically hinder. All right. Positive future growth. Just know that, um, two, I almost feel like you could meet this person and for whatever temporary a reason you guys could actually shift apart, but you guys will, the will of fortune tells me that you guys will be brought back together. All right. So nothing is perfect. I don't, I'm not going to give you guys the fairy tale bullshit. You know, it's not going to happen. It's not, everything is not a fairy tale. All right. Even in Taurus's video, um, uh, I do believe there was like a little, there's going to be a little stitch at the beginning. Um, and it's just because it's almost too good to be true. And I'm kind of feeling that energy right here. So it could be that Taurus and Virgo, you know, might be meeting each other. Um, or some of you guys. All right. But the wheel of fortune tells me that you guys will be brought back together within the one to three months. So you guys could have met somebody even now. And it could be that this five of cups is coming through because you have not heard from this person, or there might be a little bit of a, a break. 
um, right now. And this could be a confirmation read that this is going to come back together. So some of you guys um, could be dealing with an air sign um, right now in this moment. And you're wondering what the hell happened. You know, it was intense, but short. Um, the Wheel of Fortune says you guys will be guided back together. So, um, and, and I don't feel that the split apart is going to be for everybody. But some of you guys, I do feel like you're going to um, experience a little... Uh, knee-jerk reaction to the intensity of the connection if that makes sense all right so let's just see what your advice is your advice is most likely going to be connection connected to how you feel about love your advice your yours is coming your time is coming all right yeah look at that your guys' time is coming here's what i'm gonna say look at this is gonna turn into something beautiful all right the four of wands is all about marriage um there's so many soul connection um energy going on in this i mean to me it's like yeah definitely it's going to lead to this four of wands so um even in long term you know futuristically there's so many positive cards here that i can't see anything other than you guys actually coming together um and being committed like that all right so for those of you who are kind of experiencing a little bump in the road from somebody that you met that you felt incredible about it is coming back together all right so you just got to give it time um the new beginning is here is what your your angels and spirit guides are saying and this person's going to come back probably explain why their cup was empty the first time okay but they're going to come back and make it right for those of you who have had this little separation and for those of you who have not met this person this is just saying um there could be some a little bit of a rough start think about what i was just talking about you guys most likely could go through that especially if you feel in your gut that this is a soul connection but just know it will come back together okay once everything kind of um, you know, uh, calms down, simmers down a little bit. There's going to be the new beginning. All right. And you guys will move forward. So let's see what signs are coming through to you. We have a Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces. And I'm going to pull some initials and this is going to be with the intention of the person coming towards you. Um, initials and, and signs are always just a side note. All right, so initials, we have S, T, A, Z, H, L, and Y. All right, Virgo, you guys, for any of you experiencing the confirmation, I would love it if you would just comment. Um, if you don't feel like commenting, maybe even just like the video so other people um, have the opportunity to see these messages that come through here, you guys. Take it easy.